guaranteed rate field on the south side of Chicago. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Chicago White Sox. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton and Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year. Corey Lee leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. All right, just about set to go. Getting the start for the Chicago White Sox. Eric Fetty having a pretty ridiculous season so far, singing. Yeah, you see there with the sub-2 ERA, very dependable guy, and he's been pretty much lights out so far this season. So, you know, when a guy like this takes the mound, boom, I'm yeah, expecting to watch him get into a rhythm quickly and just move Ryan. through a ball game. Sometimes Jeff you can Jeff. see some big strikeouts. Other times it's hard to even know he's there because the innings go so quickly. Ryan Jeffers in the box now. No balls and a strike. First pitch. 11. It's softly on the ground, left side. Tosses across the first, and a quick out number one. Now the lineup for the Twins, as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Here's Byron Buxton. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. There's a guy right there that really trusts his hands. I mean, you have to wait a little bit longer with the breaking ball. He did that, and he still had the power to drive it the other way. Just couldn't keep it fair. That misses, and it's one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. One out, base is empty. Not close with that one. Now two and two. That's inside. And yeah, there's ball four. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised he went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. One gone runner at first. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Manuel Margot. Margot goes 5 feet 11 inches, hitting third in the lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Righty delivers. That one down the line, and foul ball. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Man at first, one away. Popped in the air, left field. Makes the grab. That is cool. The third base Jose Miranda. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jose Miranda. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And the oh, first right pitch misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. Buxton on the run. Right. That's in for a strike. Throw safe. He's safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. 
Runner at second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Base knock, center field. Coming home. The throw in. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Two outs, runner at first. So up next for Minnesota, Carlos Santana. In there at the knees, and it's a one. -on -one. Two outs. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back to back base hits. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Willie Castro in the box here lets that one go for a ball. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in, you got to try to get another one or maybe two. Right-hander kicks, deals, and there's a strike. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And another ball. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. That one misses, and now three and one. Christian Vasquez. In the on-deck circle for the Twins. Miranda on second. Santana on at first with two down. Edge of the zone for a strike for Cowboy. Count of three and two. Good job to fight that one off. Two on, two outs. Bounce that off to the left and we'll do it again. Struck him out looking. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a one nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at guaranteed rate field. And towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, Leon, if you will. We'll, we'll see right today if he's the able to get ahead three. of hitters Nick and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Nicky Lopez stands in now and watches strike one. Try to bunt his way on, and that's just foul. Just misses. It's One a good ball, take. Three strikes, count. Three. Bold strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Oh, just a beautiful that's fastball that's on the inside that's corner that's for that backwards K right there. there. I think the hitter saw it all the way yeah. coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was ball looking ball, away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. One down, base is empty. He takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. 
swing and a miss struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Well, anytime you can punch the out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, Off table the setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Two out spaces empty. And a strike on the outside edge. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. Margot moving back. And it's out of here. Third home run of the season. And we're level. It's 1-1. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing. And we're all tied up. Squad the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. Aloy Jimenez now. That one a little bit high. 1-0. Two down, nobody on. Slice down the right side. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Ah. Swings through that one out in front that time. One ball, two strikes. And that's counted away. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And another ball. Tied up here in the early going. And he walked him. That's ball four. Thank you, baby. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Here's the strike of the knees. All ones the count. Hey. And that's a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. One ball. In two the strikes. dirt. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. The one two. On the ground to third. Into the outfield base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Got it. Got it. Now it's Robbie, Robbie Grossman. Robbie. Grossman. Popped up. Castro gets there. He's under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But the White Sox get one on a homer. All even now at 1-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And now the Twins catcher, Christian Vasquez. Christian Vasquez. Fetty back to work. Oh. Just missed. Swing. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And there's a foul ball. The one, two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. That is Cal Farmer up to the plate now. 
And ball one. Up the middle. Shoemaker. Two up, two, two down on the top of the second. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. All on the ground. Nice ground out. And next for Minnesota, Austin Martin. And that one sliced foul. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And the righty deals. And oh, another ball. Close one doesn't get the call. Full count now. Two outs. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. One of the things about the that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Oh, Jeffers what? takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Line to left. And it goes just foul. Right into the plate. Way out front for strike two. <laughs> Drive, and that should be extra bases. Martin, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He will score. It's 2-1. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Man at second here with two away. Byron Buxton, the next hey. twin up to hit. There's the sinker at the knees for a strike. At the belt and fires. That's a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily. It's 3-1. Comes through with the RBI. A really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Manuel Margot. Fly to left his first time. There's the strike of the knees. Going one. Move to first, and he's back in there. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The bat. The first base. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jose Miranda. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score here at the top of the second. 
Slice to right and a base hit around third. He'll score and they lead by three. That's three singles in a row. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch and that's how you do it. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. And he's already singled in this game. And yeah. that's through there for a strike. Margot, the runner at third. Miranda at first, two out of the inning. Right through there for a strike. Two on, two outs. There goes down looking. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Twins four, and the White Sox one. Bottom of the second, leading, leading off, off Danny Mendick. The third baseman. Yeah, so after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that yeah, shutdown yeah. inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The right-hander back to work. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Out towards right center field. Margot makes the grab one away. Batting it. The catcher. Corey. Here's Corey Lee. That one is upstairs. In the air, right field. Margot settles under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Batting nut. The shortstop. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the shortstop at the play. Braden Shoemaker. That one hit to right. Brings it in, and that is that. New inning getting started, and now for the Twins, Willie Castro. Willie Castro. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And first offering is fouled off. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. On the ground to third. Zips it to oh. first. Going up and down. <laughs> and now it's Christian Vasquez. He's 0 for 1. Ground ball right side. Lopez. And Vasquez is gone. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Kyle Farmer. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a miss. And the count is 1 and 1. one. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. I talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Foul ball left side. He'll see another.
headed towards the corner. Ben Intendi ranging after it. Brings it in. And that'll do it. As we go to the last of the third, Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Lopez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Just nope. missed. Oh, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. That one fouled off two and two. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Fan batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That's a little bit low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Oh. To first, and two straight set down to begin the bottom the of the third. White 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 White. The first base. Gavin. Gavin. Gavin Sheets will hit next. He's already homered in this game. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The Twins leading by three here in the last half of the third. Strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. One ball. And that skips into there. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Get out of town. A massive home run. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they close the gap. It's 4-2. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. A lot of pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Laced down the line. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Waste no time there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Man in scoring position with two away. Andrew Benintendi steps up. Right through there for a strike. 0-1. And now the count is even. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Then on second, two down. Bounce it off, still one and two.
Left hand batter waits. And look and out. As that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder. Robbie Grossman. 0 for 1 so far. Chase nope. that time. Two Hold outs. On, no Couple of base runners at first and second. Strike hey. on the inside corner. And here it comes. Late on that fastball. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. That two one balls. not close. Two, two and two. Jimenez over at second. Benintendi on at first with two down. And another ball. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Two outs. The right-hander oh, gives up the two-out walk. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Danny Mendick steps to the plate for the White Sox. It's early, but these at bats can impact the game just as much as they do later. Here's a chance to set the tone early for your team. There's a strike. Two outs, bases are full. And the right hander deals. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. On the ground to the left. And it's just foul. That was close. In the air out to center. Buxton moves under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. White Sox draw a bit closer thanks to this home run. It's now 4-2. Back here on the south side, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Austin Martin. And a pitch. That's to third. Mendick tosses it to first. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Back to the top of the lineup. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. One for two. Jeffers. A career batting average over 300. And he's usually a catcher today. He gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, I really like when a guy gets a break like that. He still gets to stay involved in the game. Instead of starting behind the dish, gets to hit, gets to rest a little bit, gets to watch Three. the game from a different perspective. Had him way out front of the slur. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Buxton stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Bounce to the left side. Nope, and foul ball. The 
one one is fouled off. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Next <laughs> offering down in the dirt. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Up next to Minnesota. The right field. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Margot. And it's fouled away. Two outs. That one ripped, and that's just foul. The pitch stays alive. In the dirt, ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's a 2 2. On the ground. Foul, and it foul. goes just foul. Three and two. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Three two. And ball four, four. four to a board. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Now, Coach out. Count's getting up the there now, game. and not okay. saying that's the reason for You're this right walk, right. but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Miranda yeah. in the box again, takes the oh, strike. Right. Right. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Sheets settles under it and makes the catch. And that'll do it. So they strand a pair to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Twins four and the White Sox two. Here on the south go, side, yeah. and here's the catcher, Corey Lee. The catcher, Corey. And the pitch. That's in there. And that's strike one. You know, these White Sox did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And a good eye there. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. On its way to the corner, Margot sizes this one up, corrals it, and there's one down. Up next, next to Chicago. That's and next to hit for the Sox, Braden right Shoemaker. Shoemaker. First Whoa, pitch doesn't find the zone. That clips the corner. The Twins leading by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Pitch. A That's little bullshit. bit high, maybe, and it's two and two. I Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look it, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Oh, 
swing and a ball lined out towards center. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And he deals. And a foul ball. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So one hit is all they get. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Twins four and the White Sox two. back and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth Garrett Crochet and he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year not a lot of hard contact not a lot of hits period so digging in Carlos Santana the wind in the pitch that takes low for ball one well these twins putting together some really good at bats in this game there's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate it looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early get him out of the game before he settles in so I'd say mission accomplished and the pitch swing and a miss nice change up one ball two strikes and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now that this is Willie Castro. Willie Castro. Swings through that one. 0-1. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Brad Keller, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Banks also getting ready. One down, base is empty. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Sends it over to Sheets, and the bunt doesn't work out. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the angle as the infield was back right there, and that's pretty much a gimme for a bunt base hit. Just didn't quite put it where he wanted to right there. Vasquez in the box now. No balls in a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. No he doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Two down, nobody on. That's a ball. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Here's a 1 2. Ball two. Fly ball down the line. Grossman on his way over nabs it and that is that so no runs no hits no errors and no one left home half of the fifth coming up it's the twins four and the white Sox two and we're back Leading we head to the bottom of the fifth right and now the first the baseman first base Gavin base. Sheets yeah, yeah. Lopez back to work Pitch oh. misses, and that is ball one. You know, these White Sox looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. There's a reason they include runners left there. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safe at second with a double. 
third hit for him this afternoon. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Aloy Jimenez getting ready to hit. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh 0-1. One. Oh and one. Out in front and foul to the left side. That misses. Going to count one and two. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Last half of inning number five. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And Attendee up here. Oh. That's off the mark. And that's ball one. Oh, and another ball. Play. And that drops in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 change changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two and one now. This to center field. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like oh, him, he yeah, is looking up, forward to making up for oh, it in baby. his next at bat. Grossman. Robbie Grossman steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a pop up right side foul territory. And Vasquez able to pull it down. And that will end the inning. So one left for the White Sox. Still down by a count of four to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Kyle Farmer. Farmer. The wide to kick the pitch. That hey. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Ball one there. And that one almost hit him. He swings and fouls one off. The 2 2. That one just misses. That's when you always want as a pitcher down at the knees, and it looked to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. Hey. Got him looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, oh, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Martin yeah. batting with one down, takes a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Next yep, pitch is outside. Out. All 
small slider so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. One down, base is empty. And they'll do it again. And now the lefty keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Now a fly ball to right center. Grossman sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Up next to Minnesota. The designated and now the Minnesota Ryan. designated hitter. Ryan yeah, Jeffers. Yeah. One for three. And yeah, there's a ball. Oh. The wind of the pitch. Pop foul out of play off to the right. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops into the glove. And that is that. So they make short work of them there. 7 8 9, 2 up in the home half of the inning. It's the Twins 4 and the White Sox 2. Back at guaranteed rate field. Now here is Danny Mendick. And the right hander back to work. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. one. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Caleb Thielbar, the left hander, up and throwing. Stewart also throwing. Right through there for a strike. Or two is the count. In the air to left center. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Now, now the catcher. Here's the catcher, Corey Lee. Lee. Slice the other way and foul. And he'll one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. Not even close there. Now one and two. The White Sox trailing by two here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss struck him out. And the batter will be the shortstop, Braden Shoemaker. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attack hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. And that's in the dirt. And that's in the dirt. And the count is filled up. Nicky Lopez getting on deck circle. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. 
It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk no, after a no, long no, at bat. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Lopez stands in here, takes ball one low. Two balls, no strikes to count. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that rolls into the corner. Automatic double now as it hops the wall and foul ground. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Here's Tommy Pham. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. And the curve is down and in. Shoemate at third. Lopez at second with two gone. On the ground, right side. That ends the inning. White Sox strand a couple. They trail it here, four to two. Here on the south side, we go to the top of the seventh. Stepping in, Byron Buxton. And a pitch. That one drifts inside. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. His second of the year, and they add a run. It's 5-2. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. So up next, Manuel Margot. Pitches in for a strike, and it's 0-1. It's always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the top half of inning number seven. That one missing inside. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and fires. Three. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you now usually that. see very well, but for some okay. reason he didn't pick it up, You're and right it just kind of got into the strike zone late, gave up on it a little bit early. Miranda at the plate and takes high there. Oh, one, no strike. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And there's two down. The bat. The, bat. the first base base. Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana now at the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a miss. 
Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Look out! And it hit him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. So up next for Minnesota, Willie Castro. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. That catches the corner. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And that is cut on and missed. That's strike two. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Twins get one on this homer. It's now 5-2. You're dialed into the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Caleb Thielbar. He's been so good against lefties. Leading up. So up next for Chicago, Gavin Sheets. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now if he did. As the lefty gets to work, Theobar measures six feet even. He features a four-seam fastball, a slur, a curve, and he works in a slider. The lefty to 1-0. Foul ball there. through that one it's a strikeout no messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there four pitches all fastballs yeah and that makes me think that was the plan before the bat even started if you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it now Aloy Jimenez that one finds the zone that's strike one. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. One Next ball. offering misses Two gallon strike. away. One down, base is empty. Base hit. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the now body and just left getting left enough left. of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for him. Now. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Outside. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The pitch. Fought off foul. Jimenez at first, one gone. That's a strike. Now one and two.
And that one upstairs. Wouldn't chase that time. That's towards center. Buxton has this one sized up. Makes the grab for the second out. The right fielder, number 30, Robbie Grossman. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Steven Oker. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. And now the right fielder, Robbie Grossman. Inside corner for a strike. It's 0 1. Ball just one. missed. Tried one to back door him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. And Aye. here's the strike. One ball, two strikes. That ball misses two. the zone. Two and two. the two strike pitch and he'll see another two outs Great. caught him looking for the K the White Sox leave one they trail at 5 2 Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Brad Keller. And yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're, you're already going to be a little nervous out the there, head. so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. The pitch. Vasquez, yeah. the leadoff batter as he swings oh, through it for strike one. And a strike in there. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. To the right side, Lopez. Over to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Now bad out. The second baseman, Kyle. Now Farmer. it's the second baseman, Kyle Farmer. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Right. On the ground, out to short. Shoemaker on the first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. The bat. The, the left field. Austin, Austin Martin. Martin. Austin Martin. The next twin up to hit. Right through there for a strike. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Steven Wilson up and throwing. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. That one misses. One and one. That's hard hit on the line. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Everything came together for him. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. 
It's even better when he gets you extra bases. Got to love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Now it's the Twins DH, Ryan Jeffers. There's a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. And that's outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Just off the outside edge, and it's two and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. He deals. And down on strikes he goes. That ends the frame. Twins wind up stranding one. They're still out in front, 5 2. Bottom of the eighth. Look at the third baseman, the Danny Mendez. The White Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one's in there. Strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And it skips in the dirt. And a ball and two strikes. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Now Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. And up next for Chicago, Corey Lee. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. First pitch misses. Count 1 and 0. The White Sox trailing by three near the bottom half of the eighth inning. And oh. another ball. There's a line drive to left field. Put the extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second. And he'll make it safely. That's a double. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And next to him for the Sox, Braden Shoemaker. There's a strike. Gets the inside corner, and it's nothing in two. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Ball one. And ball one. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. The run comes in from second. It's 5-3. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Yeah, the batter now, Nicky Lopez. That clips the corner. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. 
Step off throw to first. Back in safe, really close. The tying run at the plate. Nope. Just missed. Oh, wow. oh, that pitch play. down. In the air, left field. Martin snags it on the run. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball now right there. Hand. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Dummy. They bring a young yeah. arm out of the bullpen in this spot, Joe Price. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Fan in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Shoemate off of first with two away. And there he goes. Lifted in the air right center field. Marco flashes the leather on the running catch. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 5-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Here on the south side, and now the center fielder, Byron Buxton. The pitch. Ball one there. There's a strike. This one smoked out to left. Ben Intendi calls it in, and there's one away. The right field, number 13. Manuel Marco, the next to hit. A strikeout and a walk. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Base is empty one away here at the top of the night. Popped up under it. Squeezes it. And there's two away. Now back the third baseman, Jose. Here's the third Miranda. baseman, Jose Miranda. them all and they add a run it's 6 3 that was blasted absolutely no doubt off the bat love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing is empty with two away. Carlos Santana will hit next. There's a strike. Oh and one. Righty to the plate. Oh, that plumped him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Castro in the box now as he leaves that one up high. No one, no strike.
The shortstop takes the ball. Two outs. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. At the belt and fires. Not three close with that strike. one, and the count is three and one. And that's, that's ball, ball four. four. Take the break. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. So two on with two away. Christian Vasquez, the next twin up to him. Over four, two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. Oh. Squirts away a little bit. Count one and oh. Tag safe. Hey. He's in oh. the third of the wild pitch. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. One and one. Out towards right center field. Base hit. One run in already. Another comes in to score, and the lead is up to five. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. You know what they say. He couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Tanner Banks on the pitch out of the pen here. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Man at first, and next for Minnesota, Kyle Farmer. That one fouled off. And yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss. Threw that fastball ball. right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. 2-2 Two -two now. Got him swinging. They get three runs on two hits, one a solo homer. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot at the bottom of the ninth. It's the Twins eight and the White Sox three. We head to the bottom of the ninth, and here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. And here comes. In the air, out towards right center. Buxton sizing it up, and there's one down. He was all over that first pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Now at the plate, Aloy Jimenez. That's in there. That's strike one. The Twins, leading by five, were in the last half of the ninth inning. Foul ball. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Whoa. Next pitch misses. And the count one is two one and two. Count. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now only one out remaining. Well, we saw well, a solid effort out of their 43. starter in the bullpen. is following suit. It's just a good man, day as a manager man. or as a pitching coach. When you can hand the ball off to multiple arms, it gets stability from all of their performances. Ben Intendi, the next to hit, takes ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Nope, next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. two. Ball. No 
And that one wrapped foul. The line of the pitch. Ground ball, and this should do it. Farmer. Ball game. Oh. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 8-3 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.